Hello everyone and welcome back to Oxen Channel. Today is Grammar Day. We are going to talk about past perfect. Look at these examples. There was a meeting yesterday. No one had told me. There was a meeting yesterday. No one had told me before the meeting. I wasn't able to get a room. I wasn't able to get a room because I hadn't booked in advance. I wasn't able to get a room because I hadn't booked in advance. Now this example is from yesterday's story if you remember. But look at the structure. No one had told me and I hadn't booked in advance. So this is past perfect. First of all, we're going to talk about the usage. When do we use past perfect? So you're talking about something that happened in the past, a simple past action. That is the main event you're talking about, but you want to go even before that in time. So I'm talking about yesterday. Yesterday, there was a meeting, but before the meeting, no one had told me. So I'm talking about a main event, but I want to go before that. So no one had told me before yesterday. Again, I wasn't able to get a room, so I went to the hotel. This is the main event. I went to the hotel. I didn't get a room. I couldn't get a room. Why? Because before going to the hotel, I hadn't booked a room. So I'm talking about a main event. Now I want to go before that main event that something had or hadn't happened. This is the timeline. For example, for the first example, this is the meeting yesterday, but no one had told me before the meeting. Then again, I wasn't able to get a room because I hadn't booked the room in advance before actually going to the hotel. Okay, so this is the usage. We are talking about a main event in the past and we want to mention something that happened before that main event. Now, what about the structure? As you may have noticed, we have had or hadn't, so had for positive, hadn't for negative, and after that we have the past participle, the third form of the verb. Now, as you know, we have two types of past participles, regular with ed and irregular you need to memorize these irregular ones. But the regular ones, you just add ed to the present tense of the verb. So had plus past participle and hadn't for negative plus past participle. Okay? Try to practice these examples and make some more examples. Let's go watch Anna's video.